Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I'm heading out to do something that I said I was going to do about seven months ago and I never got around to doing it. Today, I'm going out to do a black and white photography POV around London and it is a long one. I did a total of 22 kilometers walking. It was a long day. It's a long POV. Go and get your snacks. Get your snacks. Sit down, relax, play in the background, leave it on. And there's a little challenge for you as well. Um, watch the entire video. Count the number of photos that I take through this video and uh, drop it down in the comments below and one random person will get chosen for a prize. Now before we head out, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos like this. And also I have presets down in the description, which I haven't used in this video, obviously, because it's black and white, everything shot in camera. Anyway, let's go and do a POV. Won't waste your time any longer. POV photography, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I've got the Sony A7 III with the 14 to 24, but I'm also going to be using the 50mm, the 85mm, and I'm doing a black and white POV. It's been a long time coming. I've spoke about it for a long time, but it's finally here. We're doing a black and white video all day. Some nice harsh lighting out, and I'm very, very excited to see what we can get. This is a nice shot. I like the arrow as the dude was walking across it. So the way that I'm editing these photos today is I'm keeping it standard black and white. I'm leaving it up to the camera to decide the black and white. So I'm shooting black and white in camera. And then in post-production, what I'm doing is I'm cropping it four by five, which is for Instagram. And then also I'm adding a little bit of shadows and contrast if I need to. Um, I don't want to accentuate too much. I want it to be straight from the camera um, using the, the difference between the highlights and the shadows in the natural setting as much as possible. Okay, so the shadows here is quite nice. TV walking into frame now. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to split. Okay, one person on their own. Just trying to split with the shadow kind of straight down the middle of the frame. Now black and white for me is a completely new um, entity because I've never done it before. Um, I've done it briefly, but I've never, I've never done an entire video about black and white. It's never been, to be honest, it's never been something that I've been heavily interested in. Um, whenever I see, you know, some black and white photos, I think they look really, really sick. Um, but whenever I take them myself or have done in the past, I've never been a massive fan. Okay, so still on the 85, there's a dude just sat here on the edge of the bench. I like that. Can I get him center frame, kind of just resting his head on his arm. So that was shot at f1.4, ISO 100, four thousandth of a second. Okay, so I'm gonna pull focus across the road because I wanna kind of shoot through the taxi. Hey, you buddy, thank God, please. Okay, so the shot I'm going for is I'm trying to shoot through the window of the taxi and there's like a nice framing in the background just trying to pull focus. Okay, okay I think they, those work. So I was using the I was using the window as a frame uh, shooting through and then capturing people on the other side which as you can see, as you can see turned out pretty good. Um, it's quite hard to pull focus in auto going through the taxi um, and then manual um, again also. I had it at f1.4, uh, 8,000 per second because it was super bright. Now f1.4 again because I wanted the foreground to be all bogged out. However, you could have shot at 2.8. Maybe would have been, made it a little bit easier to pull the focus, but I'm happy with the, uh, the final result. Okay, so this dude here is such a vibe. I'm gonna see if I can get across the road before he pulls out, which I think might be now. But we'll see if we can get him as he swoops around. Oh, bam, what a shot on the move too. Oh, that looks fucking beautiful in black and white. Wow, what a vibe, I love that. 
so easy. We did the same. I'm starting to get convinced about black and white, you know. I quite like it. I'm going to swap over to the uh, the 14 to 24 in a minute to get a different perspective of things. Let's just jump behind this taxi. There's a dude over here sat down doing something. Oh yeah, go on. Give us a bit of vape. See if I can get him. He's probably spotted me. Yeah, he's just spotted me. Sad. If I come to the left-hand side of the pole, I can kind of get the the shadow of the pole kind of just marking over him. I am going to go over and just tell him because he's looked at me a couple of times now. Hey man, how are you? Just let you know, I just took your photo just because I'm a street photographer and I just like the framing. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Have a nice day, man. Thank you. So again, it's about being conscious, guys. Like when you come out, just make sure that you're open and honest with people. Like if someone looks at you, they can see what you're doing. Like don't just be a weirdo and walk off. Like people are people are humans, right? <laughs> they've got they've got emotions. So if you just walk off, they have no idea what you're doing, and they might think of a photographer in a bad way. So just go over and explain. He could have quite easily gone, "Hey man, what the hell? Like, can you delete that?" And I would have, but I think it's better just to. Oh, what a vibe! Look at this vibe. Oh, what a vibe. This black and white. Oh, honestly, I am fucking loving this black and white. That is just tasty as fuck. So, F1.4, 8,000th of a second, ISO 100 um, on the uh, on the 85 mil. Look at the compression with the taxi as well. Whew, that is tasty. 14 to 24 on, I've got it on 1,600th of a second, F2.8, ISO 100. Let me crash down a bit, get a different perspective. Just trying to have people on the right hand side of the frame as they kind of walk into it. I've got these kind of shadows in front of me. The archway just in, in front of me again. Okay. Bam. That worked. Perfect. Okay, we're going to push through. See what else we can find through here. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff going on. Okay, so that shot I wanted to get the dude on his phone, and that was do, 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 400th of a second, f2.8, ISO 100. And it came out alright. He was kind of like slightly out of focus, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, hold focus past him and hold focus on the table behind, but I think that's because I've got it on uh, the wrong focus area. Okay, gonna get this very like simple, like wide open shot. I've come out just slightly from the corner of the building just to get the scale of the building. I'm gonna put the focus point on the edge of the building, I'm gonna get it nice in the center. I'm just gonna wait for some people to clear out. I want it a little bit full, but not too, I don't want too many people in, in the frame. Okay, this is perfect. It's like no one. Wow, it's very lucky. Literally, no one in my frame. Wow. Sick. Wow. Oh, yes. Okay, the dude in his phone, I think we can probably get that, so I'm going to push it to 24 mil. Sit down here and use it as like a leading line. I don't know whether or not... I think 50 mil would be good here. Put it at 1.4, both out of the background and then get the shot I want to get. Excuse me. Hey mate, you're right. I'm a street photographer. I just wanted to say that I just got your shot. I don't know if you can see it because of the light. But with the shadows, it looked really nice. Okay. I just wanted to tell you that I took it. Oh, oh, just right. so you know. oh it's just right. Have a nice day. So I'm gonna head down towards the embankment area um, and then probably cross over the river to like South Bank, walk down South Bank. Southwark area and then maybe head towards Tower Bridge and then loop back round and do a massive loop all the way back round to, to Piccadilly. <laughs> I mean I'm putting in the steps today but it's worth it. That last shot was at 8,000th of a second f1.4 ISO 100. Now I'm just waiting for a cyclist or something, one going through the frame now. That's quite nice, it's okay but actually I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw the 
the 14 to 24 mil on because I want the wider angle and I'm going to go over the other side and get the wider angle because, well, I would just rather have more in the frame for this type of shot than I want. So this is the frame I want. You can kind of see that as an example with the shot that I just got. So 14 mil. 400 of a second. Dude coming through the frame now. Oh, that, do you know what? That does actually really work. Okay, so at 14 mil, we'll go 1,250 per second. F2.8, ISO 100. I'm going to use this as a little bit of a leading line and get the people walking up the stairs. Should even go for a bit of a reflection shot. Not 100% about it, to be honest. Sun flare is quite nice. <laughs> that dude was going this that way, and I wanted to go this way. I didn't want to like miss that shot. It wasn't the greatest of shots, but eh, you get the point. It looks alright after the crop. So I'm heading down towards Tower Bridge, the long way, um, and then, like I said, I'm going to loop back round. I'm sure we'll get some nice shadows and stuff this side but I do desperately need to get some food because I'm starving I haven't eaten today yet and I'm like I'm at that point where I'm like I'm ready I'm getting hangry <laughs> influencers in the wild <laughs> some dude taking a photo look at this light what very simple shot but because of the smoke coming out of the back of this it looks really sick and it gets people walking through here. I actually think the wide would probably be the best option here. But again, with the wide, you're gonna get multiple people in the frame, so. Ah, oh, there we go, bam, got it. That's what I was waiting for. Got someone in the foreground and then in the background. So sitting in the background, this in the foreground, looks really, really nice. That compression with the 85 mil is honestly ridiculous. So compression means where it brings the background closer to the foreground. Um, obviously with a wider angle, like a 14 mil or 24 mil or um, 35 even, the background looks further away than the foreground. Um, but what 85 mil does, or a 105 or 135 or anything, like that, it brings the background closer to the subject in the foreground. Oh, this is so nice. Dude in the foreground, and then St. Paul's in the background. Wait for him to turn. I do really, really like that. Come this way a little bit. Maybe we can add some more things in the Ground. Put this bike in the front of the frame, give it even more layers. Get the woman on the end of the bench. Nice landscape shot as well. Sick! Honestly, it's again with that 85. I mean, I've just fucking <laughs> not really did you need some sitting down there. But let's have a look what else we can find while we're about. I'm gonna go and get the shot that I always get. Well, not always, but the shot I like to get up on these, uh, up on these wires. And luckily today it's not fucking wet, like the last time I did it. Um, I mean I spoke about this before, but if you use the 85, you can get some like pretty sick leading lines from here. Let's have a look. Oh, it does look absolutely insane at 85 mil. So that was 8,000 of a second, F2 ISO 100. Now, because it was wet last time, <laughs> I slipped my ass going down there. 
but luckily this time it wasn't. Alright, so this is the shot I normally get, but it's not actually, it's not that great today because it's so busy. I mean, I'll take a shot so you can see how busy it is. It's pretty nuts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head down, continue towards Tower Bridge, and then loop back around, and then hopefully, hopefully, this won't take too much longer. The shot I'm going for is these white stairs here, and you've got shadows on it, and the sun is casting people's shadows onto the staircase, and it's creating kind of like a silhouette shadow, which is quite cool. I'm just waiting for someone to walk across, so essentially I need someone to walk directly across this bit here, so it shines, well, puts it on there. I'm just waiting. Damn, got it. Smashed it. Okay, so I've come down to this spot here just to get a nice simple shot of Tower Bridge. I mean, I've got many reflection shots down here. I don't think I want to go and get any more. Um, but yeah, you can use all the poles down here to get some reflection shots as well. I mean, in post, I've been able to pull out a little bit, which is pretty cool. It's a nice, cute little moment. I'm gonna head across the bridge now um, and head into the city, well, the city center, the CBD, whatever you wanna call it, where Lloyd's building is. Yeah, let's get a shot of, I mean, from this angle, because you've got a building going up next to, because you've got a building going up next to 22 Bishop's Gate, looks a little bit, looks a little bit messy, but, We'll just use this as a bit of bit of stuff in the foreground. Whether or not you guys shoot on a APS-C sensor lens or you shoot on a full frame, you definitely should have a uh, you should definitely have a, uh, a wide angle lens because it's pretty nuts what you can get. Like just this alone looks really cool. So the shot I want to get here is of the Birkin and then hopefully someone going through the frame. Sorry, man. No, you're good. You made it better. Actually, perfect. Bam, one and done. Let's move on. I'm gonna head down towards the Lloyd building. Um, maybe get some lookups because I've never done any black and white lookups. So I'm by the Lloyd's building and I've never seen this door open. Maybe I just never noticed, but I'm gonna come in the door and then use it as kind of like a frame. Oh, that is sick. What a very unique perspective. Well, that is just different. Oh, that's so nice. The shadow, the light coming in, the lens flare. Oh my god. Now, I'm sure someone has done it, but I've never seen it before. From my own personal... Oh, wow, I really like that. Hey man, how are you? Yeah, fine, and you? I'm very good, thank you for asking. I have a question. Yes. I don't, I, I'm sure I know the answer, but is there, is there any way I could take a photo from outside of one of the windows? Outside looking out the window. Can I take any? Can I take any photos from inside? Inside the building. Yeah. You need to get permission from the church window. I'll have a look. London. Can I at least have a look? See if yeah, it's worth it before it's like you know. Before yeah, I ring them up and then I go in. There's only one. That's that's quite right in the corner. I'll show you. Thank you very much. What's it used for? I mean, other than this is um, so a synthetic. Okay. On a Sunday. Right. And we use this for during the week for Bible studies. Right. So it's nice and central. People can come over there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you very much yeah. for your time. Yeah, you're really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a nice one. Okay, it was super nice of that dude to show me around. Um, obviously, he said no to me taking any photos. And to be honest, the inside didn't look that great anyway. Um, I am not a Christian. I will openly say that. Um, I don't, I'm not religious in any way whatsoever. Um, but I know that inside of churches can look quite dramatic sometimes. Let's just get a look up shot here. We've got it 14 mil. Oh, wow, that's looks sick. 14 mil. It's a bit of a leading line here, so maybe we can use that. Leading towards cheese grater. Interesting. And then we'll look towards Lloyd's. Dude running through frame. <laughs> okay, so just getting into bank now. Lighting looks pretty sick. 
see what we can get. I mean, I could throw the 14 to 24 on, but I don't know. I think the frame is just going to be too, too crowded. I'd rather focus on someone specific. So I've always liked this frame here with this door. So we'll wait for someone to go in front of it. Leave your headphones. I kind of want them really centre. I mean, I've got about fucking 40 to choose from there, which is good. Probably that dude. A ton of POVs ago, like, and I mean fucking tons. I don't even remember when I set it, but I set someone a challenge to try and get a shot with these shooting through one of the squares. Um, none of you fucking did it. So, you lazy bastards, I'm going to do it instead. I reckon if we pull that round, how heavy are these things? Not heavy at all. I thought that was going to be heavier. So if I turn that round a little bit. Ooh. I'm waiting for cycles on the other side because these guys are too close. I mean, I could throw the 20, uh, the 14, 24 on. Okay. Bam. Okay, so I've gone to the generic, but also very good uh, St. Paul's shot here with the 14 mil on. Uh, F2.8, uh, ISO 100, 1,250 of a second. Yeah, so with this reflection shot here, it looks amazing because it makes it kind of symmetrical. Same pause, two people sat on the grass in front of me. Embankment now, because, well, look at that lighting. It looks great. Um, as the sun sets, it's only going to look even cooler. I think we need to go onto the actual path to be able to get the shot that I want, but we're gonna have to wait for, uh, well, this sea of, <laughs> sea of cyclists. And I think in this situation, my personal preference would be an 85 mil. So that is what I'm gonna do because, well, I can. Okay, 85 is on, get it to 1.4. There's a couple here walking into the light. See, it's just different. It's just so, so different. Yeah, if you don't have an 85 mil, then I do highly recommend the Samyang. Now, the reason I highly recommend the Samyang is because the cost per quality is, is insane. Now, I am contemplating and getting the Sigma. Um, and that's purely because I want, I want to see. I want to see if it's any good, the Sigma 85. And I want to do some comparison videos as well. I mean, this dude here is 85, so. Let's get the settings before he walks into frame. I reckon that is about right. This dude here looking beautiful. Actually, really nice. Hey dude, sorry to interrupt you. I just got your shot and I didn't, do you want me to send it to you or anything? Because it looks really nice. Yes, if you do want to send it, yeah, yeah, sure. it to you. Do you have an email you can send it to? Yeah. Okay, heading down a bit more down into embankment area. Um, and then I'll do full circle, full loop. I mean, this dude on the bench is a vibe. Look at him. Move it down a bit. Oh, that is sick. So this time of night is actually really, really good because you have obviously a bunch of people that have finished their day. They've spent the day in work and uh, and now they're just, they're ready to chill. They're ready to relax, ready to go home. And before they get on their busy, busy journey to get home, they take a few seconds to rest, sit down, go on their phones, take their shoes off, whatever, you name it, they'll do it. So it's good to be out this time of night capturing that. Okay, so we are gonna head into the second part of this video now, where I'm gonna go and do some low light stuff. But first, I'm gonna go meet up with someone called Jimmy. Now, Jimmy has been featured in these videos before. Um, he also has his own channel and I'll link it in the description. I'm gonna go and grab some food with him first and then do some low light stuff around Soho, Chinatown and that whole area. So Jimmy wanted to give me a race to Holborn and I was miles away. But that's the station there. And Jimmy, I believe, He's on the other side of the road. Hi, we like at the same time. I did. Hey, how are you?
I've met up with Jimmy. There's Jimmy right there. It is now night time. We're gonna get some some low light stuff. I mean, low light with black and white is kind of like really different. Because a lot of the time I'm thinking about like colors and how I can work with those colors. But obviously now I'm just working with black and white. So it's kind of, kind of <laughs> stop, but I'll try. Okay, I'm gonna get kind of like a portrait style shot here. Kind of get the lighting correct before I turn into the shot. Gonna go 125th of a second. Staring straight at me. Over there, and I'm gonna shoot from here with the focus point through the center of the heart and hopefully catch someone on the other side. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah, sick. Oh, that's it. That's it. With the uh, the black and white, that was a bit annoying. May have got something there. Okay, so taxi driver going through the frame. Got him at 85. That was at 15th of a second. F 1.4, ISO 100. We pan at this shutter speed, we should just get something. We've seen everything today, harsh lighting, low light, all being in black and white, been a very long day. But let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. I can safely say this was the longest POV that I've ever done. And if you've lasted this long, did you count the photos? If you did, drop a comment down below with the number that you came to, and I will reply to one of those comments in seven days from today telling you that you won. One random person, so if you counted them, who knows, you might get a random prize for doing so. Now, let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Let's throw a screen record on and we're gonna go down the most recent. So we're gonna go with this one first. This is from Urban Underground. And then the next one is from Bella FF. That's a nice set of some deers. Next one is a Lighthouse one from Devon Captures. Oh, nice and moody tones, that. I like that a lot. This one here is from a reposting site. Um, let's have a look there. Who's the actual photographer? Blick Fang is the original photographer, but that's from a reposting site that uses my hashtag. And then going down to this one from Zoratos Photography. And then we have this one from JPT Shots, which is very nice. And then also here from 1984, 1984 Portraits. And this drone shot, is that a drone shot? No, it's not a drone shot, it's a time-lapse. It is a time-lapse by Adam of some amazing fog clouds rolling in. That's sick. Nice shot here from Kieran. That looks absolutely peaceful as fuck. Wow. And then this one from Leo. And uh, is it Lee or Lee? Lee 000Z. And we'll do this one as the last one from I, Brendan. Nice little set there. Really, really like that. I love honestly seeing your work. If you do want to get featured on this channel, use the hashtag opticalwonder over on Instagram. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, then head over and press follow. Um, yeah, it's been a very long one. I won't keep you much longer, but I have got some exciting content coming up. I've got the iPhone 13 Pro on its way. I've got the new GoPro 10 on its way. And I'm going somewhere very exciting in about two weeks. So, and, and, and something else, which you'll find out in two weeks. So with all that being said, create more, stress less, get the fuck out there and go and shoot. Have fun. Bye. Okay, this, this move, this move is fucking insane.